Greetings, Earthlings. The future is here, and it's called the Denago City Model 2. This e-bike is like the USS Enterprise, ready to boldly go where no e-bike has gone before. Costing just a smidgen under 1400 bucks, this urban stallion is perfect for city commuting, neighborhood rides, or just a warp speed tour of your local galaxy. But enough chit-chat, let's dive right into the specs. At the core of our starship, we find a 500 watt Shangxi rear hub motor. It's as though Scotty got his hands on this warp drive and modified it for a bicycle. This motor will take you from 0 to 28 miles per hour faster than the Millennium Falcon can do the Kessel Run. And with the thumb throttle on the left side, you've always got access to power to pop off the line in a hurry. Now, all that space talk aside, this bike did have a pretty powerful motor, and it is tuned a bit more towards the average rider, which in our opinion is awesome to see. You know, plenty of people are coming into e-bikes, haven't ridden in a few generations, and the City Model 2 is a perfect re-entry into the bike riding game. The power source of this urban beast is a lithium-ion battery packing a whopping 652.8 watt-hours made with top-notch LG18650 cells. It's like having a mini arc reactor from Tony Stark's lab powering your bike. Since this bike is well inside of our affordable category, it's cool to see so much capacity included with the bike. The City Model 2's frame is forged from 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. It's as resilient as Captain America's shield and as sleek as the X-Men's Blackbird jet. Plus, the rigid suspension corrected fork ensures a smooth and comfortable ride whether you're dodging Daleks or heading to your local coffee shop. Now, what does suspension corrected mean? I can hear all of you asking, well, it's one of the cooler aspects about this bike, if you're asking my personal opinion. Basically, it means that you can upgrade to a suspension fork at a later date and it won't affect the riding geometry in the slightest. If you've ever tried to upgrade a rigid fork to a suspension fork, you'll know exactly what that means in terms of ride feel and overall riding experience. And if you want to hear some stats, the City Model 2 weighs in at a fairly light 58 pounds and has a max payload capacity of 300 pounds. The City Model 2 opts for a rigid fork, giving the bike a city sleek design. Although it may not be ready for a Jumanji level jungle adventure, it's perfect for cruising through the urban jungle like Spider-Man swinging through Manhattan. Now we recommend that you keep it off of rooftops of course, but the larger 2.6 tires really do make this one smooth ride. And to top off the excellent ride feel, we get puncture resistant liners and sidewall reflective stripes, which are excellent safety features if you want to ride this once the vampires come out. This bike comes equipped with hydraulic disc brakes featuring 180 millimeter rotors, when you need to stop, you stop. And with motor cutoff integration, you're in total control, just like Neo bending the rules of the Matrix. The brakes worked really well, and I would really feel safe riding this around on anything in any weather condition. Tornadoes? Uh, maybe not, but that's not because of the brakes. I did the ride test up in Dallas, in the rain, and while we did have to skedaddle due to some hail that was coming in, I felt very confident on the wet slick pavement. Equipped with an 8-speed microshift drivetrain, the City Model 2 is ready to tackle any urban landscape. It's as versatile as James Bond's gadget pack Aston Martin, giving you the flexibility to adapt to any situation. With e-bikes, you don't need a license, really to kill or to ride. We don't recommend killing anyone, obviously, but the sleek design here might just do that without your consent. The City Model 2 comes with more extras than a special edition of a Star Wars box set. Reflective stripes on the tires, wheel reflectors, a bell, a kickstand, locking grips, and even a high-resolution LCD display that would make the back computer look outdated. And I guess it just depends on which back computer we're talking about, because some of them already do. No comparison needed. The City Model 2 is perfect for urban adventurers, daily commuters, and city explorers. If the name didn't give it away, I don't know what to tell you. If you want this to be a true commuter, at least how we define it around here, you need to add a rear rack and fenders, both of which can be purchased on Denago's website. If you do add those two things here, you'd have an affordable commuter that has way more range than the price tag would make you believe. And I see this being a very popular urban bike, and at this price point, even more so. Let's pop out on a rainy, drizzly day and see how she handles the adverse conditions on the ride test. All right guys, we are out here on the ride test for the City 2 from Denago. It's starting to rain. If you guys are watching the, the cruise review, you know it was just, you know it's kind of starting to rain, now it's actually starting to rain. So let's get into this. Let's jump right into it. Let's fly right into it, throttle, and let's go. So you do have to get going a little bit similar to the cruiser. Now I'm going faster, which means the rain is going down faster. So we'll see how long this how long this lasts. Maybe we should figure out which way the rain's coming from and we'll go the other way. Let's go this way. stop you can go and I can go let's do it all right so we're in Pelotus level 5 just kind of get a top speed run here that would have been a quick end to uh, 
for a review here. Oh, let me... Whew, flying! There we go. That's the... That's the gearing there. Yeah, this thing is tuned pretty well. Pretty well, I'd say. And we are cruising. Now again, this one, no suspension fork, no rear suspension, but we have these big fat tires. So if you're cruising on you know, stuff like this, this is just cake. This is cake. Let's go ahead and do a brake test up here at the stop sign. Going about 22, 23. That was brilliant. Okay, let's keep going. Let's head up this way. Where does this go? Just exploring this mall over here. Now, I really like these grips and they're kind of different than most of the grips that I've seen. So they've got a locking mechanism here. First, first positive check here. And they have this sort of like boxy end of ergonomic thing that we've been seeing on some grips that I really like. These ones are flexible, which is interesting because it gives us a different different vibe than, uh, you know, just most of them. They're like, okay, kind of fits my palm, but now you kind of have some, I don't know, squish to it. I'm digging it. I am digging it. All right, let's go ahead, head back down our old hill here, see if we get going super fast and how it's going to take us to stop. So we're going 20 on a wet pavement. I mean, that was probably like 15 feet downhill. So not, uh, not too shabby. All right, throttle only, same hill. We're just on the sidewalk. Seven, eight, 11, 12. Oh yeah, no stopping it, no stopping it. Ah, trees. So this, 500 watt motor is uh, doing the Lord's work, guys. Now we are now ready to do some cruising, some real cruising. But I don't want to do it out there with the with the crazies. Let's go over this way. Stay on the inside here. Now one of the things that I did notice is when you're riding it, there is a bit of a delay between switching from pedal assist to Throttle. So like if you're holding down the throttle and you go to pedal assist, which I will demonstrate right here. So let's see, so we're on throttle, right? And then I got a pedal. A little bit of a delay there. But all right, now it's time for us to cruise. I think the weather is finally turning. I think she's finally turning on us. Well guys, we'll do another little speed test here as we race inside for our lives. Should have brought sunglasses because the, uh, the rain is penetrating my corneas right now. Woo! This might not be rain anymore. This might be ice. Goodness gravy. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for our ride test. The weather is pushing us back in. But before we do that, let's just get one more look at it. Get one more. One more look the city too so like I said I really like the oversized tires here these are awesome I mean look at that look at that the girthiness to it we've got hydraulic brakes which is great to see with the removable battery we've got uh, those fun grips that I like and uh, a motor in the back is doing uh, it's doing some great things for being 500 watts Do you guys know you know we prefer the the 750s or you know, prefer maybe not even be the right word because kind of all depends on how the whole product comes together in the end and I feel like the product here has come together to be pretty, pretty sweet.
In the ever-expanding universe of e-bikes, the Denago City Mile 2 shines brighter than the stars in the Milky Way. With 500 watt motor, a 652.8 watt hour battery, and a slick urban ready design. If you're in the market for a budget friendly e-bike from a company, although pretty new to the e-bike space, has people at the helm that has been making and designing bikes for almost longer than I've been alive, which is pretty wild. I was starting to feel old recently, but then I was like, oh, no, I, I still have time. Time to do more e-bike reviews at least. And you can see my life's work over at electrifiedreviews.com. I love hanging out and getting to chat about cool e-bikes with you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.